Yes, welcome to the next section of the email super affiliate checklist. Right now, we're at the point where we're ready to plan out our email sequence or email campaign. Now this is, it doesn't matter whether this campaign is a one-off or if you wanna make it into an evergreen campaign in your follow-up sequence, it is always structured in the exact same way. So when you use an email autoresponder and if you're doing the evergreen, right, if you're trying to structure this campaign into your account um, that would go out to each and every person who gets on your list at some point. Uh, for example, for me, um, anytime someone uh, becomes a prospect on my list, if they don't act within the first 14 days, I will initiate the seven figure franchise sequence. And um, what's important is that you use an, an autoresponder software that allows you to time your campaigns, not just from like once a day, but especially down to an hour. Uh, that will make your campaigns uh, more effective. Now, you can still do it um, if it's only daily emails, but it, it's just a little bit trickier and your sequence will not be as powerful. So I'll break down the sequence into four elements. First one is pre-launch. And during the pre-launch phase, let me enlarge it real quick. Uh, during the pre-launch phase, what happens is we send out three and I like to call them stripper emails uh, because what strippers do, if you've ever been to a strip club, they tease you, right? They tease you, they tease you, they tease you, but they never give you what you really want, all right? So they, they always tease you with, with the candy, but they you know never let you eat it. Therefore, um, the purpose of the pre-launch emails is to get people excited, is to start um, sort of uh, teasing them and, and, and to start kind of getting them curious about what's going on and kind of pre-announcing sort of like a movie trailer right think about it as a movie trailer where the purpose of the trailer is not to show what's in the movie it's actually to excite so some trailers even reveal uh too much information sometimes again for the purpose of kind of exciting us and wanting to see it now another thing that's really important in the pre launch sequence is to announce that um, if they join the early bird list, they will also get a discount and or a special bonus when the prog when the program goes live. So therefore, we will be talking about it in the tech part. We will also have a squeeze page, a specific squeeze page where you will drive people to that list um, where you're going to announce the program when it goes live or when you're ready to launch it. So the three emails. OK, you can follow this formula or you can change it. Uh, you know, I'm just giving you a formula that is just going to work by default, but you can play with this. Um, the three emails are new thing hitting the market. So literally just announcing a new thing. Then the next day you email and you say, you know, uh, you talk about getting the desired outcome without a thing they hate, meaning like lose weight without giving up the foods you love or lose weight without exercise or make money without building websites and so on and so forth so the 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 result they want minus the thing they really hate about it so you kind of tease them about that and number three is new way to solve all problem so if your program if your offer uh solves um the whole issue of building sites like uh, for example if you're launching if you're promoting click funnels right um what you can do is you can talk about making money online without building websites or you can talk about a new way to build money making websites uh, which is an old problem people haven't still haven't solved so that's the pre-launch sequence then you got the launch sequence and the launch sequence is 5 to 15 emails depending on how aggressive you are and how well the promotion goes for example if my if my conversions are great um then i will email for as long as as the offer converts um in other words, I won't do five emails, I'll do 15. If the results aren't amazing, then five emails is enough. And so five to 15 emails and two, three emails per frame or angle. As we discussed in the first, in the core training, a frame is when you position, when you control the way um, your prospect perceives a situation or a product. This means that you can control the frame or the angle in which you present the, the, the program. So a couple of angles you can use are curiosity, uh, tired of problem. So curiosity, basically just teasing them and pointing them to the website to learn more. Tired of a problem, 
is an angle that basically says, you know, basically discusses the problem that they really hate and sort of twists the knife real bad and then offers a solution to that problem. So in other words, rather than talking about the product that you're promoting, you talk about the problem that they are experiencing and how, you know, eventually this, this product solves that problem. Then you can do a read a page out of their diary, uh, which is basically describing the customer's experience to the customer in an email and then saying if this resonates with you then you really want to check this out and you quite literally take them uh, to the sales page then you got enemy number one enemy number two and enemy number three what this means is that um, as we discussed earlier you come came up with a list of enemies of things and people you can sell against so you can basically write two or three emails per enemy uh, meaning that you can uh, kind of stir up the anger and the hate towards the enemy and then offer the program or the product as the solution or remedy or a breath of fresh air. And last but not least, you can also crush an old or limiting belief. What this is, is taking a belief that they have and proving to them or talking about how they are completely off. And then um, when you use this technique, it's really important to pick a belief that serves you in your marketing. For example, if we're promoting ClickFunnels, which is a website building, a money making website building software, right, that builds sales funnels. What we'll do is we'll talk about an old belief saying that you have to be a guru and you have to be you have to put in 10,000 hours into funnel creation before you can build an effective funnel. And then we'll talk about how this is not true anymore because today you can get lots of funnels done for you and you can uh, kind of build your funnels out to templates uh, that already work and that click funnels allows you to do that within minutes and then we'll link to click funnels so just a couple of examples 5 to 15 emails kind of dancing around the offer not so much as selling the offer straight then we got three emails talking about the bonus that you offer okay and the three the three um, emails that you write are, are going to be what is my bonus and why it takes th this to a completely new level right so basically what makes it a complete no-brainer to invest with uh, in this program through my link the second email is how the bonus is limited so scarcity and i'm taking it away plus why you want this so then you kind of the last one will just announce that this is it this is last chance. If you want this, you have to grab it because I'm taking it away because this is not going to be available anymore. And then five emails for scarcity. Remember, scarcity is the single most powerful driver for the sale as long as it's genuine and people believe it. So you got five emails that you'll send out and the last three emails will be sent out um, within just hours of each other. And the last two uh, are 60 minutes within each other. So this this one will go out an hour before the end of the campaign. And this one will be the last email closing that campaign. So the emails are offer closing soon plus why it's limited. So you announce that the offer is limited in case they haven't been paying attention and that it's ending soon. And you clearly state when it's ending. And then you also explain why it's limited, meaning that you can just say, OK, we're limiting this. To the first 10 people you have to say we're limiting this to the first 10 people because we can only serve 10 people at a time we don't have the capacity to serve more than that or something like that um closing soon plus go over key benefits then the next email i'd recommend sending it out about 12 hours later or so um it just goes over the key benefits of the offer and again reminds them that it's being taken away on such and such date or after such and such time or after so many sales are made then you've got another one i recommend sending it out about seven hours after the previous one uh, that says few left plus why people are raving about this right so in other words you're reminding them that hey we're just about to close because we either are running out of copies or uh we're closing on the deadline um and here's what other people are saying about it right so you literally pull testimonials from the sales page and you describe how other people are absolutely loving this product Again, you don't have to have your own testimonials, just the testimonials from the sales page of the product you're promoting. So it's very easy. Then about to be gone forever plus aggressive call to action. So you literally just drive that scarcity and you say, look, this is like it's about to be gone and you will not have another chance to get it. Like there's literally the last time ever in history you're going to have a chance to grab this either because the price is low, because there's bonuses or whatever. But basically, this is a one 
time opportunity and you're about to lose it and you sort of drive that home real real hard because now your angle is you're running out of time and people hate missing out people hate being out of time and last but not least about 60 minutes later you want to send out this is last chance buy or lose it quite literally saying look this is like five minutes from now we're closing the offer this is your last chance get it now or lose it forever and and that's pretty much the scarce the scarcity part of the sequence and the sequence like like i said it's a four part sequence please please do not skip on any of these parts use all of, of the parts of these this sequence because you will be just amazed at how great i mean the results will be incredible you seriously will just be blown away by how amazing you can like how easily you can go from a completely cold list to an excited list through pre-launch sequence to then an, a list that wants to buy from you through the launch sequence which is you know you may think that this is done in order to get sales no but the launch sequence is done to keep generating interest the bonus section is designed to get them to finally start taking action the scarcity is literally pushing them off the fence in droves because a lot of them will be sitting on that fence so do not skip do not underestimate any of these um, elements because they are all vital to the success of your campaign so i'll see you in the next and last bit um, of the email superfilo checklist where we'll talk about the tech of your campaign and how to put it together